The gritters have been working round the clock all week. They've used many more tons of salt than they normally do. Yeah, one stage of that. It's running out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, is, uh, this is our fun now, is to conserve as much salt as we yeah. can. Yeah, salt for your chips. It is required, and unfortunately it means that a lot of the other network won't get salted. Won't get salted. It's a result. Look. Just a few miles from the depot, we found busy, touchy roads, less unsuited. Slushy, Council slush puppy. It's not a question of money. It's slush it's puppy. Not enough salt available. SP slush puppy. Tonight there are plans to import thousands more tons of goods, but motoring organisations say mm. they are still extremely concerned. It's incredibly bad planning. Um, and it makes me wonder what it's going to be. It's a problem. Look at well, the, the back. And if those aren't great, you have to go really slow. The bat flying in the room, man. Eh? In South Yorkshire, another example of how treacherous this weather can be. Friends remember 16 year old Francesca Inovole, who died when her sledge crashed through a barbed wire fence. Is that anyone better? Must, 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 must take care out yeah, there, there, people. Large parts of Wales and Western mm. England are expecting more heavy snowfall overnight. No. Tomorrow will bring more challenges for millions of us yeah. and for the authorities. Well, the highways agency who look after the motorways and the yeah. main routes say uh, they have got what enough of this say? stuff and cancel some cancels are up. They're bullshitting. To borrow in the meantime. No. There's plans to also be increasing for salt mining in some parts of the UK from tomorrow, but clearly that mm. is not going to be much use tonight. Yeah. John, thank you very much. John, pay our correspondent there in right. the future. Now, last month, uh, Britain officially entered recession. Or recession. Recession. Depression. Been shrinking for six months. Today, a word normally used to be depression. The D word, depression, was used in the house. Good. I used it. I was using it months ago, if not years ago. Agreement, and that will feature on the G20 agenda. Secondly, we should make sure that every country is analyzed for what it is doing by the World Trade Organization to prevent protectionism. And it also is absolutely clear that we should agree as a world on a and fiscal stimulus that will take the world out of depression. Depression. Rita Chakrabarty. Yeah, a hint. A subliminal, on purpose hint. Bollocks. He said, "Rut." First of all, stop. Bollocks. Freudian slip. Depression. Yeah, well, talking of depression, amigos. Hello, peeps. Yes, once again, it's me with the fairies, as you can see them. I can see them. Uh, let me get to the point. The point is, apparently the Chinese are going to take their money. Money, such an abstract term. Anyway, they're going to take their money out of money, the dollar, and supposedly they're buying gold, gold bullion. Apparently this is supposed to be catastrophic. I read some stuff on a website somewhere today, above top secret, and it said, that's www.abovetopsecret.com, it said on this website, it said, do you realize what this means? If China buys gold or puts its money into gold or it's based the gold standard there, there and doesn't the dollar anymore, then America is going to be dot, 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 Zimbabwe. I thought, hey, guy, I was saying that about Britain two weeks ago. Steal my joke. Uh, depression, gold, and the Chinese. Cold finger. Uh, uh, uh.
doesn't work. But this works. Stay tuned, folks. There'll be a lot more extreme events from this lodge.